don't ever limit yourself because you never know what that voice can do. On that oh, 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 I wondered if that's a place for some little hooky. What if I went oh, oh, yes. crazy over you? Yeah. Yes! Since you've been here, you literally keep climbing. You keep growing. If there's desperation. Ask for something in this song. Doing the challenges has given me my sense of purpose back. I can't see your face at all, but I feel like I just met you. That is a little introduction to the new Audible original singing competition called Breakthrough. The show features judges Sarah Bareilles and Kelly Rowland, as well as host David Diggs, as they guide cool. five undiscovered musicians through a competition to become music's next must-listen. The twist? Hmm. The show is audio only, which puts the focus purely on the contestant's musical ability. And Grammy winner Sarah Bareilles joins us now in studio. Great to see you, Sarah. So this is not Morning. on Twitter Spaces. No, that no, sounded that was, really good. Yeah, actually, yeah we've been talking <laughs> a lot about amazing. Twitter Spaces with politics this morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, didn't go great. We don't need to go. There. Yeah, so no. let's let's keep it to Audible <laughs> then instead. How about that? But this does seem like the next evolution. If the Voice on NBC was, we can't see the performance, we can just hear it, and we're going to judge it on the this is like the next step of that was yeah. like you had just have to be a great musician and a great singer and have a unique voice to get through well what we realized kelly and i have talked about this a lot is we realized how much information you're getting visually all the time and how many biases and assumptions you end up making about who a person is by just the information you get about the, the way they look how tall they are how they dress all the things so it was very intimate to just be, it reminded me of, of the way I used to listen to music on my bedroom floor and mm. with my headphones on, just reading lyrics. It's a really um, intimate way. So you're to not get in to the know. room. No, you, you never saw. Them. I saw never these contestants saw for the first time yesterday. We had our finale taping yesterday, and it was remarkable. You know how when people had masks on in COVID, you yes. would like misappropriate their mouths. Sure. You're yeah. like, that's not the mouth I gave you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, that's not what I, I thought you had red hair. That's not, you know, but, but then immediately they, they all came to life exactly as they were. It was, it was incredible. So and incredible. then you're choosing them for the right reason, for their yeah, talent. Exactly. Joe's here with a question for you, Joe. Well, I, I was just going to say that you look at Mika's glasses right now that she put on Wait, a couple like, of minutes oh. ago for no reason. No. And, you know, like even Mika could win wearing bad? those glasses because it's audio. We love them. Yeah, we I love them. Hey, Joe, do. I'm sorry. I know you don't like these glasses, but my I contacts were in the wrong eyes and I was blind yeah. and yeah. messing up. It and happens. I yeah, love sorry, them. Very good. Too. Sarah loves yeah. them. I love them. Really? Yes. Sarah, co Sarah's going to actually. Sarah's going to wear them to the Tonys. But Sarah, <laughs> uh, I'm reminded of something. I'm reminded of something that Quincy Jones told us when he when we were interviewing him. He said when he was young, uh, he would go into the studio and there was one great producer that he he just uh, absolutely respected. And he, and he sat, he'd watch and listen as they were recording. And he's like, I don't quite get this song. And the producer said, Young man. Turn around, close your eyes, and listen. Uh, yeah. And he did. And Quincy Jones said the second he did that and wasn't distracted, like you said, by a million different things, he said he sat there and he listened. He goes, ah. I think that we take for granted. I mean, we're, it's such a visual world now, and we have so much, so many things happening at the same time. It's a really interesting distillation to sort of take the craft of songwriting and the craft of being a vocalist and and really go back to the form it's meant to be consumed in, which is audio only. So, mm. and I got to do a lot in my pajamas, which is really <laughs> what I'm looking for. Now we get to the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Beyond the ability to do it in, in your pajamas, uh, what drew you to this in the first place? Was it the idea of really trying to just focus on the music? You, you, you mentioned like, uh, laying on your bedroom floor with headphones. Is that is there trying to evocative of that? Yes. I you know, I think I'm always drawn to doing things I haven't done before. That's definitely something that's a big draw for me and I hadn't kind of worked in this space before. And I loved the sort of courage of doing it, it is a competition show, but not really. It, we didn't have a winner every week. We didn't have, you know, we, there was a winner chosen at the end of it. But the point of Breakthrough was about these artists meeting challenges within themselves and breaking through and, and evolving. And they all did. So, and their, their connection, this is a really kind, nurturing mm -hmm. competition show, you know, and, and I, nobody was mean. 
which is the it's other. A, draw. No, it's a great <laughs> idea, and it's the way we consume things now. We're yeah. trained with podcasts and yeah. everything else. You walk down the street or listen in the car. It's such a great idea. Yeah. We have to ask you about the Tony nomination for Into the Woods. Congratulations! Thank you. As you said, it was a complete surprise for yes. something that was supposed to be like a two-week theater fling for yes, you. Yes, that's <laughs> right. It was supposed to be just two weeks at City Center for the Encores um, series, and it turned into a Broadway run and a Tony nomination for wow. performance, which is really meaningful as a as a theater kid. Waitress was an extraordinary adventure for me, but I never imagined myself as Broadway composer. I imagined myself on stage in this way. So to get acknowledged by this community of people that I just mean more to me than anything in the world, it's it's unbelievable. It's, I'm so grateful. Well, you can listen to the Audible original Breakthrough starting next Thursday, June 1st, streaming anywhere that you get your podcast. Sarah Bareilles, thank you very much. And thank you for your support. I got we you. all support I got you. you. Yeah, yeah. Unanimous at the table. Yes. All right, we're yeah. going to take us. a quick break. Thanks. <laughs>